Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Wilson. I'm from Northern Virginia. Welcome to Georgetown University School of Medicine. And my name is Kyle Grass. I'm originally from Kansas City. We're both fourth year students and we're really excited to welcome you to what we call home. This right here behind us is what we lovingly call the fishbowl. In a normal year, this is where you and the other applicants would have all interviewed. Because we know you couldn't visit, we just wanted to put something together to show you around. So this right here is Proctor Harvey Auditorium. My favorite memory of this space is from first year where they actually showed us how to do our first patient encounters. So just imagine this room full of 100 or 200 medical students, everyone in their white coats, all looking down to this table where our instructor is walking us through how to give a physical exam on a standardized patient. Georgetown is very big on cura personalis, so care for the whole person. And that's not necessarily just the patient, but also the students. So the administration does a really good job of making sure outside of studying for medical school, there are also things to, to, to care for you as an individual. This is Dean um, Emeritus Joy Finnessy Williams. What I love about this um, initiative and this picture is that it features women that had a really um, integral role in contributing to our time here at Georgetown University. The Woman on the Walls campaign was a way that we were intentional about highlighting the women who were um, critical to our growth and development. For me, Dean Williams is an aspiration. She's someone that I look up to. Just having her presence in this wonderful picture, just kind of smiling back at you as you walk to class down the hallways, has always been a source of reflection and inspiration for me. I wanted to take a moment and walk you through a lot of our administrative offices. Here on my side, we have our research office. Then over here, we have one of my favorite places, our registrar's office with our registrar team. One of my go-to places on campus, our financial aid office, where I come in and really make sure my financial plan is, is right and tight. A little bit further down our hallway here, we have our Office of Student Learning. This is where I come to get expert advice on how to take exams, how to study, and really to meet Dean Taylor, our um, expert student educator here. One of my other favorite places and spaces to hang out on campus is the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. I just remember spending many of my days here coming in for comfort, coming in for laughs, coming in to see a familiar face. So now we're gonna go down this hallway. Um, as you guys know, Georgetown is one of the four Jesuit medical schools. And the one thing I will say that's very, that Georgetown does very, very well is being inclusive of all faiths. So here's our campus ministry office. And regardless of if you come from a Catholic background or a different faith background, Georgetown is definitely going to include everyone. And if you need help, Georgetown will get you down the correct avenues. Here we have a Catholic chapel. Um, there's daily mass three times a week. Um, it's usually right after the first and second year lectures. You know, with medical school being a very difficult time, definitely enjoyed it. This is the podium. It's kind of a, a raised area between the medical school, the library, and the hospital over here. We have a lot of fun memories here on the podium. Um, it's a place where there's school-wide barbecues, um, all the food in your drink of choice. It's, it's always a fun time out here. There's also areas to study if you like to study outside with outlets and Wi-Fi. When I was a second year student, um, there was a, a great uh, fundraiser for St. Baldrick's, the Pediatric Cancer Society. And so I actually shaved my head right there um, back a while ago. But it was, a, it was a really good time. And as a school, we raised around $30,000. <laughs> Guess what, guys? I definitely have the picture to show you. <laughs> so Georgetown School of Medicine shares a campus with the undergraduate campus. So this is the undergraduate basic science building. But a lot of our professors have shared research between the medical school, the basic science, and the new research building. So this is our library where we have so much study space spread across three floors. We're going to take an opportunity and walk you through some of the spaces where we like to get our studying in and how we use uh, DML. DML as a whole, one of the best parts is it's very versatile. There's also a space on the second floor that can have all 200 students in any given class to do a team-based learning activity. Another unique thing about Georgetown School of Medicine is when you come in as an M1, you're placed in a learning society, which is a smaller subset of the class of about 40 people. And in each learning society, there are four academic families. So it's kind of 10 of your closest friends throughout medical school. 
So this is our student lounge. We're very, very grateful to the Parents Council that has helped finance this. And this is a place where we have refrigerators that you can store your lunch, microwaves, vending machines. And it's just a place either in between classes or after class where you can hang out in, in an area where it's okay to, to, to talk. So this space is the Integrated Learning Center. It's essentially a mock clinic set up in the med school that you use to help with your physical exam and your diagnosis skills. So if you follow me this way, we have a full clinic in the back. So the clinic itself is 10 separate rooms. Each one is its own exam room that's set up just like a normal doctor's office. So this is one of the exam rooms in the ILC. Um, whenever you come in as a first or second year, there will be a standardized patient to help guide your learning. Each room is also recorded, so there's multiple cameras in here that can kind of help you know what you did, did well and not so well whenever you go to watch back the footage. This is currently set up to debrief. So afterwards, you can come in here and talk with some of your professors in, in more of a group setting to understand maybe what you did good, what you didn't do as well, and how to improve next time. So this is our clinical simulation center. Um, there's four different stations and this is also a multi-use space. So over here, this is set up to learn how to tie knots. Over here, we have one of our mannequins where you can help learn how to run a code, also learn how to intubate. So this area you use kind of on your third and fourth year to kind of hone in some of those clinical skills. So now we're going downstairs. Um, downstairs, we have all the anatomy labs um, and also kind of lockers and some more study spaces. What I love about this area are the murals that are painted here on the walls here. I really want to pause and kind of focus in on those because these are so pretty. And they're painted by actual medical students in our class. Yeah, this was something um, that was our class gift kind of back to the, the space. And so looking at the murals, I will say I had no painting talent, so I didn't paint any of them, but they did a really, really good job with this space. So this is one of our anatomy labs. There's a, do a dozen cadavers in this room and each M1 and M2, you have a group of anywhere between three and five students per table. You spend a lot of time down here um, learning anatomy and these are some of our first teachers. This is LA6. This is one of Georgetown's larger classroom areas. This is where you have the majority of your basic science classes in first year. One of these really good benefits about this a room this size is that a large part of the class can come together. You also will have uh, students in the S&P and the GEMS program. Everyone can come together and learn some of those important lessons. Welcome to GA24. This is an area where second years come and have their lectures. This is also a very big space where the entire class can come together and get lectures on more of your basic science concepts but also this is where we transition the lectures into some of those patient care topics as well. All right, this is our plaza. This is a wonderful new space that opened in fall 2020 in the heart of the pandemic. It's an area where you can come outside and get some fresh air, get reconnected and refueled in between classes. So as of right now, there is some construction going on on the campus. The new MedStar Surgical Pavilion is a whole new wing of the hospital, a whole new building actually, that is going to be a new emergency room, completely new operating rooms, and also some patient rooms, including multiple new ICUs. As of right now, the plan is for the hospital to be done in 2023, which will be just in time for you guys to start your clinical rotations. Thank you so much for spending time with us and learning about our favorite places and spaces on Georgetown's campus. We couldn't be more excited for you guys and we hope that you make the decision to come here and we see you in the fall.